hello from slide nerd and hello from weaves what's up folks in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to create this list view with a base adapter now previously i've shown you how to create the same list view with an array adapter the base adapter is just another class that allows you to map the data from your data sources into the appropriate rows inside your list view now the benefit of using a base adapter is you have total control of how you are going to store the data whether it's going to be inside an array whether it's going to be inside some collection framework class or whether you're fetching it from somewhere else so let's actually go to android studio and create this project from scratch so here inside android studio i have made a small list of what are the things that we need to do to run this program from scratch right so here the first thing you need to do is store all the data somewhere that those titles those descriptions and those images titles and descriptions being textual data i'm going to put them inside strings.xml if you guys remember inside your res folder inside values you have the file strings.xml where you're supposed to put all your textual content so here if you guys remember there is not just one title it's from mimi1 to mimi10 there are 10 titles and 10 descriptions so i'm going to use an array to store them so in xml you create an array by saying string array now it is mandatory that you give a name to the string array the reason because you want to refer this array inside your java code because right now we are working with xml right how are you going to bring these elements inside java so here i'm going to say name i'm going to call this titles and then you define the elements of the array using this tag called item so here i'm going to say mimi1 add more elements i simply add more item tags so let me actually go ahead replicate this for the next 10 elements the same way i need to store all those descriptions so i need another string array so i'm gonna go ahead copy paste this this time i'll give it a different name i'll call it descriptions same way i need to edit the text i'm gonna call it this is description one for the first element and i'm gonna repeat the same across all the other uh, rows that you see right all right so at this point both my string arrays are ready now there is only one more thing that i need to store inside my app and that is those 10 images which you guys saw in the image before right so to store those images i'm gonna have to put them inside a drawable folder if you go to your res right click over here say new package call that folder as drawable click ok and there you see the drawable empty folder has been made for you inside this folder you're supposed to copy paste those 10 images i'm gonna go ahead copy paste those images from my desktop so here i select the folder press ctrl v at this point it says copy specified files click ok and there you see those 10 png images of the same size which is 48 by 48 in my case are right here so now our step one is complete from the list of things that we need to do next is to actually define the structure of a single row you see the list view is not a single view it's actually a complex set of views so here if you guys notice if you take one of these elements like mimi6 you will notice that this is what a single row is composed of the single row has an image which is an image view in android there's a text view which says mimi6 and there's another text view which says description and this complex structure is actually repeated for every row over here so in other words you need to create the structure somewhere so that you can put the values inside that structure later so inside our layout folder i'm gonna say right click new and then i'm gonna say layout resource file call this as single underscore row and instead of using a linear layout i'm gonna actually use a relative layout click ok so at this point i have my empty uh, structure over here right so i need to fill stuff inside the first thing i need is an image view inside this so here inside my widget section i have my image view just drag and drop it to the top left and as you see it has been added but you're not seeing anything on the screen the reason is because you have actually not specified which image to show it is completely blank right now so let's go to the text part here just for the sake we understand how this looks i'm gonna give it a source right now i'm gonna say at the rate drawable say mimi5 just for now so as you guys can see it has been added but if you notice it's been stuck to the top and the left so i'm gonna give it a margin to make things look better so i'm gonna say layout margin 10 dp and there you see things look a bit better right so let's go back to our design web and add the text views here so I'm going to add a large text just to the right of this. I'm going to double click on this, call it Mimi1, just so that I can see how things look. Click enter and then make sure that you stretch it all the way to the right of your device screen, right? Same way, I need to add descriptions. That's going to be small text. I'm going to 
drag and drop this small text right below this large one. Again, make sure to stretch it all the way across the device and also stretch it to the bottom so that it matches your image view. Here if you see align bottom equals to image view. Then double click on this again just to see how things look. I'm gonna call say this this is description one here. So this is how every single row is gonna look. But remember one thing I have not filled the values here right now. These values are gonna be filled inside your adapter inside the get view method at runtime dynamically inside your Java code. So this static structure that we have created here is just a reference to how things will look for every single row inside our list view. So at this point I have my single row of my list view defined inside. The next thing I need to do is actually go ahead create the list view inside my main activity layout. Now if you guys remember the main appearance of my activity is controlled inside this r.layout.activity underscore main file. So I'm gonna go ahead open this activity underscore main. Here if you go to the text part there is a text view over here I'm gonna remove that. Go back to the design part. Go down to the container section on the left side. You will see the list view here. Drag and drop it top left. Control S. Go to the text part here and take a look. Here we have our list view which has some width which is wrap content height and this Android ID. Now this Android ID will be useful to bring this list view from XML inside Java which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. You see the values of the list view are gonna be added when the program runs inside Java or you can say at runtime dynamically. For that I need access to this list view object inside my main activity.java. In other words I need to bring it here. So I'm gonna go here I'm gonna say list view. I've created a reference I need to initialize this list. For that I'm gonna say list equals to find view by ID. Now this find view by ID is gonna search for the list view from XML and bring that existing object inside Java. So I'm gonna say r.id.listview. At this point you will get an error saying blah 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 incompatible types. The problem with the find view by ID method is that it returns a view object. What we have on the left side is a list view object. So we need to perform the type casting. Press alt enter, perform the type casting and we are done. So at this point we are done with three main steps. So in the next video I'm gonna go ahead to use the base adapter to put the data from those XML files inside our list view. If you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.